This puzzle is not terribly difficult, but it does require you to be methodical and pay a little bit of attention. So we've got a cube with identical faces, which is nice because it means we can develop a, a way of taking out one face and apply it to the rest of them. In this case, I, I found that this works pretty well. Uh, notice how I go to the right to start. We'll need that later. Okay, so we started by going to the right, and we end up on the square to the right side. So let's go and do another face. Uh, this time again, I'll I'll go um, I'll go down this time. Okay. So now we've applied this one method to to two faces so far, and we've kind of started turning. Notice, however, that if I start by going to the left, we'll end up getting stuck, because just as we've seen before, in whichever direction I start with, um, using this method, I'll end up on the square on that side, on the gray, dark gray square on that side, and I don't want to do that because then I'll be trapped. So this time we'll start by going the other direction. Great. And we can continue applying this method to the rest of the faces of, this, of the cube. Uh, it's, it's kind of neat that we tackle each face of the cube in one way, and at a level we're do solving a meta puzzle, which is the larger cube as a whole. Uh, I think that's kind of neat. Uh, okay, so we need to go down this time. And we have to go right this time. And this is the last phase, so it doesn't really matter. 